Marcia? Marcia, I'm Coach Jeannie Weaver. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jeannie. Pleasure. What brings you here today? I really would like some help with my putter. I'm really long and then I overcorrect and I'm really short and I just I just think that if I get my putter dialed in a little more, my score could drop a little more. And maybe I'd give my boyfriend a little challenge. Oh, I like that. Okay, so so how long have you been playing golf? I've been probably playing about four years, but two of those years is playing around like really I never went to a real golf course until about two years ago. But I would play a lot on the par threes at the Angel Park. Good. And then across from my work there's a par three. It's not great, but I like to take my irons there and practice. So wonderful. That's it. Wonderful. And, and you mentioned your boyfriend. Who do you play with? Zar. His name is Zar. And he shoots about an eighty. Could probably be better. He's real good. Okay. But he's also very stubborn. So okay. that's about where he's at. <laughs> we have to take separate carts a lot. I love so. it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. What other sports do you play? I like to run. Um, and other than that, I'm just kind of a runner, golfer kind of girl. I played ball, baseball when I was in middle school. That's about it. Okay. Softball. Well, good. Softball might come into that. Yeah. And running has a, a cadence, a rhythm? Yeah, running, I love to get in a good rhythm. It's one of my favorite things about it. You can just get in a rhythm and go and just, yeah. Nice. Wonderful. What do you do for work? I'm a waitress, uh, wait tables with lazy dogs. So, oh. Yeah, I'm in there in the mornings, mostly on the patio. I love the dogs, I love the freedom. It's a great job, especially in Las Vegas. They pay well in Las Vegas, so it was good. Wonderful, and allows you the freedom to come out and play. Yeah, I don't need to. a lot. As long as I got a club in my hand, I'm good to go. So, Fantastic. I'm pretty low maintenance. <laughs> so in your uh, in your sports career, in your athletics, have you had any injuries? Are there, is there any physical limitation you have? I've never had an injury really bad. When I was a child on my knee, Uh, it used to be a scar right here. I mean, it's not even a scar anymore. Oh, good. Really. Just, is it it's just, just right a distant here. memory now? It's a distant memory. And a good story? Okay. Yeah. So, physically good in good go. shape. Yes, sir. All right. Do you mind if we do a little physical one. assessment? Oh, please. Okay. Got All right. Me. Wonderful. Okay. Did you just drop it? your club? Yes, Absolutely. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to have you lift your right foot just for about three seconds. Right foot. Okay. Hold just on. to give your balance. Okay. Just checking. All right. And then three and down. And then up with your left. Uh, okay. One, two, with the three. Okay. okay. And then your arms out like this. Like Eight. this. Like that. Okay. And then up, up, down, down, up, down. Shoulders look good. And while you're still like this, by just rolling your wrist. Wonderful. And the fingers. Good. Can you turn your head to the right? Yes. Good. And then you move your head to the left. Okay. Beautiful. So you won't hurt mobility there. How's your back? Awesome. Wonderful. So everything feels good today? Yes. We're ready to do this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why don't we pick up the club again okay. for a moment and let's just stretch. Okay. I love a good stretch before any kind of activity, but especially golf. Okay, right? We're calling on the body parts we don't always call upon. Here we go. Over. Good stretch. Beautiful. You're using your club to create a little resistance. Over. And up. Set up here. So I'm going to roll while you roll these putts. Okay. Right? This hole. Okay. One. About three putts. And then I'm going to switch position here. Okay. Oh. See? And then, okay. so I'm going to try and fix that. Sorry, that was really it's okay. bad. okay. Take your time. Oh, you just got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you think about it? It's a little long, but I like I like the way it feels. I like the weight. I like that when I look at it, I can see the white and I can feel the straight line and I can 
very spoiled like that. It's a beautiful putter, and there are a lot, a lot of nice things about it. I'm not used it. to the big grip. I'll have to look up. I'm right. used to more of a grip like this. Well, it gives you great feel, but that's all a very personal thing. And if you were going to get this size, maybe cut down to fit you a little bit better, okay. you can always trade grip. You can always change out. Feel the grip. Go through and feel it. It's a very personal thing and how you're do you, I mean, do you have a recommendation what I want to feel for? It's comfort. Comfort? You don't want to feel like you have to hold too tight uh, or that it's too bulky and big. You want to be able to grip it with a, with a nice pressure and feel the weight of the club head coming through. Okay. I, my, sometimes my fingers, I mean, from wearing the table, like my hands get real dry and they swell. And I feel like that if I get too big, I just get real bulky, but then too small, I don't feel like I have control. So maybe somewhere in the middle? Somewhere in the middle might be nice. Okay. I have a larger grip on my king cutter as well at home, cool. and it's for the arthritis, for my, for my fingers, yes. actually. Yes. So, okay. So let's talk about that. Yes, my hands. Well, I'm going to bring these balls back. Do you yes. want me to get those? Uh, I'll, okay, well, they're fine. Okay. About five balls go out there kind of all over the map yeah there wasn't a whole lot of consistency right right since golf since the putting aspect of the game of golf is 43 percent of your score wow 43 percent almost half of the game That's a lot. If we could tighten right the drive 25 percent so if you can keep it down the middle and get it in the hole you're good to go pretty good yeah, yeah. <laughs> things might look up right so let's figure out how to would you be happy let's say if you created a goal we had those same five balls and you have three out of five of them within a three foot radius of the so hole. you only get three within five i uh, you, i think if we three establish a goal within now three within where so this is about 20 foot putt okay we'd like to let's say we hit those five putts again but and what, then i want three inside three of them three within the three feet yeah. okay gotcha what do you think three three so All right, we can establish. Did, right? <laughs> <laughs> now we can establish those parameters right here. Okay. Okay. And this is okay to do by, at home. Like I can just go to any course and do this. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, yes. This is encouraged. Okay. Because we're not doing any damage <laughs> to the green. We're simply giving ourselves a marker. Perfect. With some parameters to, to follow. That this is where we want to go. Okay. I'm going to make sure they're all about the same. There you go. Okay. okay. So, coming on back, let's look at our stroke. Okay. So set up to the ball, if you would, the, with the putter right in between your feet, like here, rest. Your face is always right over the top of the ball. Okay, on my face. Okay. Over the top. Yeah, over the top. Okay. Yep. There you go. Okay. So letting those arms hang. Perfectly. And when you say hang like this, or do right. I bend down, or do I stand straight? It's a, you, you Would stand I hang here, here, or do I hang here? Stand here with a little tilt. Okay. Right here. And then the arms, you have a slight bend in the elbow. Okay. Which is fine. Just keep them tucked. Okay. Okay. Keep them tucked like this. With the elbow's tucked. Okay. There you go. And you got to be moving with light hands, straight back, straight through. Okay. Keep your weight. Keep your weight solid. Leverage against the ground. A little bit more on the left foot, maybe. Tick. You know how you said when you run you have a cadence? Yes. Okay. So when we take our swing, and may I touch you here? Of course. Okay. So when we take our swing, it's tick, talk. It's a shorter tick, tick talk. and a longer talk. As if you were going to walk your ball tick, into talk. the door. Walk her home. Tick, tick talk. Tick, tick, talk. There you go. Beautiful stroke. Tick, talk. And you can determine the distance by lengthening the backswing like or the follow through exactly but, but for is it this, okay to be this high or do I need to that's be a little that's a little aggressive for okay. this especially this length putt okay now if you're off the green there's somewhere else we're doing something else but for right here tick tock right okay. there okay tick tock and the line on top tick. of your putter is a guide okay so the first tick, thing Marsha you'd probably like to do is stand back over here and determine which is the high side of the hole. I'm going to say the right side. Okay, I believe that. Okay. Because if you roll it to the right, it's going to drop in from that side, right? Okay. If it goes too far to the left, it'll fall away, correct? Yes, ma'am. So once you determine the high side of the hole, all that's left is speed. Okay. And that, with no lift, tick, talk, we just control with a nice, smooth cadence. Do you want to do it together? Sure. Yeah.
take a deep breath. Drop your shoulders. Drop, Kick. drop your shoulders. Hit. 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 Drop your Kick. Hit. Talk. Talk. Follow through. Right, ready? Kick. Hit. Talk. Hit. Head very quiet. Kick. Hit. Talk. Head Good. quiet. Head. Hit. Kick. Talk. Talk. Okay. Good. Good. Really quiet. Okay, quiet the mic. Alright, here we go. Let's so try a few now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Feel it. How's that look? Looks fantastic. Nope. Almost. Almost. No, it's there. It's there. I can do better. Now, Marsha, when you learn, do you like to hear it, see it, or feel it? All three. All three. It's bad. No, it's not. Okay. I'm still looking at the parameter. Right? Okay, we still got two out of three. Okay, yes, ma'am. Two out of three. Maturing, that's a maturation in your game. You're developing feel. And so you're being you're telling the difference. Right. Between the different textures. That's wonderful. But my my thing is I get a feel for one and then I go to a different course and it's different grass and then the next thing what it worked last time doesn't work again. So then it takes me about four or five holes to feel the grass and the course, if that makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. I mean my first five holes are awful. And then I just like then I get the feel and I feel the grass. But I wanted to be able to be like, oh, that's that grass. And then I'm like, okay, I can put off that or I can pitch off that. And just have it feel natural. So I Always like, good to. I know that was a lot. And no, I know we're no, just no. working on putting. But Always. I really like you. <laughs> so I like you too. It's, it's a really good idea to practice, warm up at the course you're at. Because 
all the greens are different. Everything I would like to say that, but I swear I warm up on a green at a course and it is completely different than what is on the course. It like, can happen. And it drives me crazy. So I'm just like, I don't know. And I've, what I've been doing is sneaking onto the um, ninth hole of the Revere on the concourse side. Because I can kind of sneak back there and when no one's there, just kind of pitch off from there. It's a cool hole to do that. And I can hide when she's coming. Anyway, I'm sorry. But that's kind of what I'm working on. Wonderful. Right now. Okay. 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 So with what we've done today, getting four out of five balls within your three foot radius, and considering the 43%, you know, that's what the, the putting part is of the game, of your score. I think if you practice twice a week, we're looking at a long term goal of beating that 92, right? What would, what would is your that, ultimate. So this is something I would what like. What would to, you like to do? What I would like to do, but I don't know how, like, I, I want to, I want to join, there are a lot of like tournaments, or, but they're like, you have to have a handicap. I have no clue what a, how to get a handicap, okay. but they're like, you have to have one, and I don't know what that is. I don't know all the rules, and I really, really want to kind of compete, even though I know it would be great just to learn the rules, but um, I don't know how to do that stuff. That's what I'd really like to know, is how can I go compete against other women who are like, like me, so I can get better, and I feel like I can't find anything like that. scores are noticeably improved and just practicing this twice a week two practices before each play or two practices before your lesson concentrating on your pre-shot routine I think making me four out of five that is going to parlay into a long-term goal of winning the tournament golf you want to play breaking those breaking those So the three, the three out of the five. Three out of five is a nice goal. If you make that goal so easily, let's move right up to six out of ten. Six out of ten, I'm down with that. When it becomes easy squeezy. Another thing which I learned from my, um, I took a lesson from Jennifer Alexander. She's okay. But <laughs> no, she's amazing, but she taught me how to uh, find a spot. And sometimes when I find the right spot, it's just easy. Very and nice. And then sometimes I don't have a spot. Very nice. So right now, since I'm going to go to the right, I think I'll find like, a, like this spot like right here. Am okay. I allowed to point to it? Am sure. I, is that cheating? Now remember the deep breath, quiet the mind, and rely on the cadence. And let's go for our goal of 6 out of 10. Yes, ma'am. And ultimately, that's going to take you to your tournament. get that ball to continue to the hole. Next on the number one tee box is the Magnus Two Thumps. Beautiful. So much better. So much singles. better. Easy Short cleanup, tick, right? Long tuck. Exactly. Little tick, bigger tuck. Very nice. Long tuck. Mr. Nudez, please come to the shop. Please I, I think I sorted that. Okay. All right. It's good when I, I can feel when I'm short. Marcia. Oh, it's going right at the very end, isn't it? But maybe I'm not hitting hard enough. So my spot needs to be a little longer? A little bit. Okay. Talk. Over taught it. Yes. That's
that's what the TikTok is for. Is to yeah, quiet I'm just the mind. going to. I'm not quieting my mind. You were right. Right. Light the breath. Mind. Quiet the mind. And it's okay to have a little binge, you said. Absolutely. And so let that quiet. Pretty good, that was right? six out of ten balls. All right. Very well done. Very well done. Thank so, you. Tell me, tell me what we just did. What you're going to do? What was our goal? Our goal was the first goal was to get three within three feet out of five, and this was to get six within out of ten and within the same parameters. So we did it. Right. Exactly. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm teachable. <laughs> and the long-term goal is. My long-term goal is to be more consistent, have a better feel, and kick my boyfriend's butt on the golf course. Yes, get in some tournament golf. Uh, I agree. And tournament <laughs> golf, yes. I love that. Yeah. Marcia, thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. I really appreciate it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job. Thanks.